Hi, I'm Sherry with Martelli, and I'm going to show you how to put these bears together today. So when, when you lay out your, um, your pattern, you're going to need to put this one here on a, um, this one here goes on a fold. You'll put that on your fold. You need one of each of these, and then you'll need two of the, or four of these. Um, set your, set your material so it's, um, it's, it has its mirror imaged. Cut your pattern out. Um, don't forget to mark your, um, mark your uh, hole placements. And I use like a, an ink pen because you won't be able to see those markings. And the only one you don't want to mark yet is your, your dart here. Once you cut it out, once you cut it out like this, don't mark your dart. Turn your, turn your piece inside out, turn them over like this, set your template this way, mark your dart, mark your points, draw your lines for your dart. This has got to go, the dart's got to go on the inside. Turn this one over and mark your dart like that. So, it, so it's on the inside. And the only other piece that you might run into that might be hard to cut is this little curve right here. You can draw a line with a uh, pen after you cut all the rest of them out. Draw a line with a pen and then cut it out with a little bit of scissors. Um, and then on the, um, and this one here, you have to cut out four. That's the ear. So I cut out two in the back and the background. And then I cut out, as you can see on my bear here, I cut out with another um, piece of material. If you're going to use... Um, if you're going to use a like a, a t-shirt or a flannel shirt or something that's got a little give to it, you might want to back it with some um, Wonder Wonder Fuse interfacing before you cut it out and then cut out your shapes. So once you've got that cut out, all your pieces cut out, let's move on to sewing it together. So you're gonna you're gonna make your darts like this, and you're gonna sew right down that line. That'll make that'll create your dart in your in your head, your headpiece. So that's gonna create your dart, and then you're gonna slit your dart so it's open, so it runs open, so it lays flatter. Then take your two pieces together, uh, put them wrong side together. Once your dart's in there, put your two pieces wrong side together, which would be this way. And you're gonna sew right up the nose line, just like I've got it here. Right up the nose line. And you're gonna take and place your, your nose, your nose piece. So this is this is the the rounded edge is your is your top of your nose, and this is your back. You're gonna take your nose and set it. It should be folded in half already because you had to cut it on the on a fold. Set that fold right in there. Put your clips. Clip it all the way around on this side, all the way on, around on this side, and sew it down. You'll have your head, your headpiece. Turn it inside out. Now I use. I use eyes that I've gotten on Amazon. You can use buttons for the nose, the eyes. You can use, you can embroider them, all kinds of stuff for the eyes. But, but I use, I use, uh, I got some eyes on Amazon and that's, that's what I do. That's what I have. Okay, so next we're gonna take and after we get the head done, set it aside. Then we're going to take our arms. Our arms have got, um, you've got two pieces for the arms. These are on my feet, my head. These have been cut out out of a shirt. These are, they're, they're memory bears. They've been cut out of, out of a shirt. Here's an arm. So what I did for the arm is you attach the two, the two pieces together for your hand. You've got your paw here, the paw piece. 
sew it down, open it up, pressure seams open. Take your, take your piece here that is your other arm, which is this one. You'll set that down. Set this down on top. And it might not just go just right. It might be the other one, but you'll sew around your thing, leaving an opening either on either side. It don't matter. Just you, you just gotta leave an opening in your in your piece. And turn it inside out. Just like that. Do that to both your arms. And when you've got your foot, your foot, you're going to turn them, turn them um, pretty side to pretty side, to the right side together. You're going to take this foot, you're going to sew all the way around it. Stop, leave your opening in it. Don't turn it inside out yet, because you've got to put this foot pad on it. So this is the pretty side. That's the wrong side. And now I'm going to take a foot pad. So I embroidered on this foot pad first. So I embroidered on it first. So this is the this is the good side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an I, I fold it in half, get my crease and fold this side and get the crease. Because I want to put that crease right in that, um, right in the edge of that, this foot. I'm going to stick the foot inside there. And I'm going to pin it all the way around, just like this. The white's really supposed to go in this here because it's contrasting color. So I'll just start pinning it all the way around. I'll take it to the, um, to the um, sewing machine and I'll sew all the way around. And I normally leave, when I sew this, I sew this with the foot pad, the, the big round circle or the big oval circle down. It just seems to go, go really easy into the sewing machine and turn it around. So once you got your two, two legs done, you set them aside. And you got your two arms done. Now we're gonna go back to the body. So, so this is this is the back of the body. This is your back piece, which would be, which would be this, just like this, this back piece. You're gonna take and put the, the two right sides together. Now this, this side here, this flat side, is your arm, it goes underneath the arms, and this is your back. So you just sew right down it, leave an opening in your back. You do that same thing with the front, with your front piece. You leave your, you leave your back, your, your, your front piece open, and you uh, sew on the curve, leave you an opening. Put those two together, right sides together and sew them together, just like that. They're all connected. Match up your bottom, your bottom seam. It should go, it should go right in there. You're gonna leave your opening, and you're gonna leave it open like this. Okay, and then now comes where you come back and you pull your head, you get your head, and this head is Okay, so I stuck my head in there, and that head is right side to right side. So this is your little opening here in the back. Put your head in the front, sew all the way around it, pin it. It should go right in there and, and pin real easy. Just make sure your head is, your, your seam is lined up with your, your center of your neck of your, of your bear is lined up. Sew around it, turn it inside out. Make, it's really tight in there, so, so make sure you take your time. Take your time and make sure you, you get it all in there. So, so he's right up, and I know he doesn't have his ears on. You want to put your ears on, on, on last. 
but you can go ahead and prep your ears. Take and put the, put the two pieces together and sew them together and turn them inside out. It's very simple. Okay. Now, the only thing that, that is strange about this, I'm going to put an arm on, on for you. And that's where I'm going to move everything out of the way, except for an arm. So I've got my, I've got my little arm marked here. I'm going to put an arm on this one. And it takes these connector bands right here, these connectors. So I'm going to get a package out of here. Move this out to the side. John, John Martell made those for me. So you've got an A, and you've got a B, and you've got a connector, which is that. So you take your arm, and I'm going to get my little scissors here, and I'm just going to clip it, or you can use an awl, which is a, uh, like a little punch hole. So I made my hole. I'm going to take the A first because it's going into the arm. And you want your A out. So you want your A facing out. So it's going to be sl slid in like this. I'm going to slide it into the arm like this. Get my little hole. Work it down. Okay. I'm going to make sure I've got it on the right side so that it's facing out, the paw's in, so it's going to go just like that. So you, you've got your marks from your previous cutting when you marked your um, template. I'm going to snip it just a little bit because I don't want it to pull the, I, want to, I don't want it to pull the fibers when you push in. So I stimp it just a little bit to push in. Okay, so this one's going just like this. I'll put it in that hole and come out like this. Let me turn it around here so you can see it. So I'm going to push those fibers down. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take my B and make sure your B is facing out that little bee there, make sure it's facing up or facing out or facing in towards the bear's belly. I'm going to set that bee there, and if you can listen, it's going to snap. So that allows your arm to move. Then um, after I get all those legs on and all those arms on, I'm going to start filling them. So he, so this is this is another bear I'm doing. This is um, so I'll start filling. I'll start stuff the bear, and then I'll take and sew it up after I stuff my bear, just like that. Once he's stuffed, I'll take a needle and thread and sew it up. So the legs is real stuff. You want to stuff them really full. Get your get your stuffing all in your nose, and I normally use. Most of the time I use a, a chopstick or something just to get that stuffing down into the, the nose area, down into the feet area. Okay, so now after you've got that done, you're going to take and you're going to put on its ear. Here's my ear. Once you've got the ear done, You gotta turn it right side out. Clip your clip your little edges, so it's so it's real pretty and nice and clipped, and it goes smooth and smooth around. I'm gonna put a little stuffing in there. It don't take much. I'm gonna stuff that up. I'm going to turn these in just like this. 
and I'm going to sew that shut without, without even putting it on the bear yet. I'm just going to whip stitch that shut so it'll look like this. It'll look shut like that. Then I'll take it and I'll place it on my on my dots that you did on your on your bear previous. I'm gonna set that down and I like to put two pins in there so that And then I'll just take and hand stitch this. I'll stitch it shut. Um, I use just a regular needle, a thin needle, um, just any one of these needles. Whatever you can do to see the eye to put the needle in and thread in and, and just sew it up. And I like to use on, on my on my bears, I don't like to use cotton because it's it's really a tight when you when you stuff it in there, I'm using, I'm using a, like a poly thread. Um, it, um, it helps when you're, when you're pulling it, you've got to pull, really pull it tight when you're, um, stitching it up. So, um, and that's how you put a bear together. So you got a bear here, you got movable arms and legs. I've put, um, in, I've embroidered on this one here on the back. So instead of leaving an opening here, I've either had to open it, leave it an opening here, I've left an opening here, just to stuff it, I've left an opening down at the bottom. However you wanna stuff it, if you're gonna embroidery on them, you can embroidery on the feet, you can put a little heart here. Um, these were, these were, this is technically a memory bear, so that this one was taken out of uh, blue jeans that uh, someone has passed away, that's why, this came from. Uh, someone had passed away, so I made some teddy bears for them. And I've taken them out of uh, shirts. So I've got a, like, a, like a, a men's dress shirt. Um, that's where this, this bear came out of. And I've got to put together for a customer. That was a, men, that was a men's dress shirt there so that, so that I could get, you know, a memory bear out of it. So that's where the, the teddy bears came from. Thanks so much for joining us. And when you buy the teddy bear uh, the kit, you will get detailed instructions on how to put it together and have fun. And I hope you enjoy your kit. <laughs>